Hi folks! This parcel arrived yesterday. Shall we unbox it? This is from Mina Lima, the graphic design duo behind the Harry Potter films and now of course the Fantastic Beasts films and they have got some new products. So I ordered these. These were not sent to me by them um, as a promotional thing or anything. It, this was bought with my own coin. Um, but yeah, I wanted to order them and see what they are like and share them with you. So without further ado, first up we have this journal, which is a vintage Hogwarts journal designed for the crimes of Grindelwald film. And as you can probably tell, this is the Ravenclaw edition and this comes in four different options for different colours. Uh, they have the same design but different colourways for the different houses. And as you can see on the front it says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with space for your name, class and year. The end papers are a plain black and inside there are lined pages. Then we have two sets of postcards, the first of which is Newt Scamander's Magical Case and this has designs from both Fantastic Beasts films. I think this is what makes these films so incredible and feel so real is the level of detail that the designers go to. I mean the costume designers and everything as well. Uh, but in particular the fact that every potions bottle you look at, every poster has got so much going on and even if you only see it for a couple of seconds, maybe not even that, it's there and that level of detail has happened across the board in all these different areas and that's why I think it's so wonderful that Mina Lima are putting out these postcards so that we can actually see some of the intricate work that goes on behind the scenes. Then we have this one here which is Fantastic Beasts the Crimes of Grindelwald collection and this is largely posters and a few book covers from the film. We have got some of the Circus Arcanus designs um, and again they've got that really Art Nouveau style to them. I like that contrast between the first film and the second where the first was very Art Deco and then because we're going to Paris uh, where we're seeing a lot more of those um, sinuous lines and Art Nouveau designs which are fantastic and I'm there for that if nothing else. We've got books that appeared in the Harry Potter books and the films as well but this is a new design it's got a very Art Nouveau feel to it it's flesh eating trees of the world and I think this appears in one of the flashbacks perhaps the most exciting ones are these new notebooks and my goodness I was delighted when I saw that these were going to be available from Mina Lima. These are replicas of some of the books from the Harry Potter series. They've only done a, a small range of them, of the, the most famous ones. And for starters we've got Tales of Beedle the Bard. These are notebooks, not books, so that it, this doesn't have the tales inside. But nonetheless they are such beautiful objects. Uh, we've got obviously the the original design on the cover there, complete with gold foil. On the back and spine we've got little details of gold foil as well as gold on the edges. Inside the end papers are green and gold to match the cover and all of these have lined paper and a ribbon bookmark in a colour that corresponds to the cover. Then we have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is the one that we see in the Harry Potter films. We've got gold foil again that goes right the way round. So that is the full jacket spread. And the end papers look like that. This one has got a black ribbon bookmark. And I, I love how classy this looks with the black background, that gold just really stands out. Next we've got Hogwarts History, uh, a design that I've always liked, mostly because it's got this marbled um, book paper effect underneath the, the silhouette of the castle. And if you've ever seen this done, um, there are some amazing videos on YouTube, but there's so much craft that goes into creating a pattern like this. And it's it really is fascinating. So worth looking up paper marbling on YouTube. This again has got gold foil on the title, on the spine, and on the back as well, we've got 
the Hogwarts crest. This one has got a red ribbon bookmark. Looks like so. Finally, we have perhaps the most famous book from the Harry Potter series, and that is Advanced Potion Making by Labacious Borage. This is a bit different because it has got silver foil instead of gold. And again, we've got it on the spine as well as on a little symbol on the back. The silver is painted on the edges too, and the end papers look like so. This one has a black ribbon bookmark. I am super impressed by the, the quality of these. I am not surprised because all of the, the Mina Lima stuff that I've seen in the past has been amazing quality. But these I think are the best that I have seen yet. Detail in these down to the bookbinding ribbon that was chosen to peek out the top um, with the ribbon of the, of the bookmark. The way they all match is just beautiful and I really appreciate the the little things like that and I think these will be good notebooks to write in as well and will look fabulous on my shelf. So there we are those are the new products from Mina Lima some of them are from Crimes of Grindelwald and some of them are from the original Harry Potter series. I hope you have enjoyed this little foray into the the most recent releases from Mina Lima and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!